It is definitely a personal decision whether to have children or not, but these celebrities prove that you might not always have to worry about the biological clock. Hardly anyone is surprised to hear about 40-year-old mothers, but how about twins at 49 or a firstborn at 50? These ladies are breaking the rules, bucking the trend, and inspiring millions of women to not let age be a defining factor in their desire to have kids. Marsha Cross, 45. Despite the fact that the most recognizable Marsha Cross character, the desperate housewife, Brie Van de Kamp, was raising two children, the actress herself wasn't in line to start a family. Yet now the co-star cannot imagine her life without Eden and Savannah, who were born right before their mom's 45th birthday. Cross has confessed that one of her biggest regrets is waiting that long to start a family. The actress is now afraid of not being alive long enough to guide her children through life. I wanted to have kids in my 30s, but just couldn't get it together, says Cross. I don't think people want to wait. I wish I'd met my husband earlier. It's sad having kids so late because you want to be alive as long as possible for them. It's simple math, you know. It's not about looking young. It's a lifelong process and you really want to be there for them, she added. Marsha really appreciates being a mom, confessing that before then, she had never realized how it would shake her world. For the better, of course. I honestly didn't have the capacity to imagine how phenomenal it is. Motherhood is like being madly in love. Take your greatest love affair and magnify it as many times as you can imagine. And it's like that, says the actress. Imam, 45. Model Imam and her deceased husband, the rock star David Bowie, were happy to have their daughter Alexandra back in 2000. Imam was already 45 and her oldest daughter was 22 back then. There is no age better than another, she answered when asked about the decision to have a baby in the greater age. The commitment to give of yourself and the knowledge that the time is right are what's important. The thing is, I suppose, a younger person may not correctly divine the right time because of lack of life experience, added Imam. David Bowie witnessed the birth of the baby and even personally cut the cord. Bowie admitted that he and his sweetheart wanted a kid more than anything else in the world. The pair had been trying to conceive for more than a decade and were jumping for joy when they found out about Imam's pregnancy. David also added, It's been a long and patient wait for our baby, but both Imam and I wanted the circumstances to be absolutely right and didn't want to find ourselves working flat out during the first couple of years of the baby's life. This is a wonderful time in both our lives. 45-year-old Imam gave birth a few days after Madonna, also in her 40s, welcomed to the world her second child, Rocco Ritchie. Kenya Moore, 47. In April this year, the participant of the TV show The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Miss USA 1993 announced that she and her husband, a businessman, Mark Daly, are expecting. Nothing unusual, huh? Except for the fact that Moore is 47 and this is her firstborn. The big day is to happen around Thanksgiving. Everyone is good and healthy. This is the home stretch, and I'm being as healthy as I possibly can and being as positive as I can, more recently said when asked about her condition. Kenya revealed that they didn't know the sex of their child. Actually, she and her husband are waiting to find out when the baby is born. Yet the couple has already chosen a unisex name with a very special meaning for them. However, they prefer to keep it a secret. My cousin actually said it at a family function once. Mark and I both looked at each other and we were both like, oh my God, that's an amazing name, she laughed. It means so much to us. It has great significance to us. Kelly Preston, 47. The sudden loss of their oldest son, 17-year-old Jet, in 2009 was a hell of a hit for the stars Kelly Preston and John Travolta. However, the couple has found the strength to keep on living and even decided to have another child. Preston was 47 and Travolta was 56 at the time of the birth of their son, Benjamin. He's given the house a renewed spirit and purpose. He's brought us a new beginning, said Travolta in a revealing interview. The actress Kelly Preston confessed that they'd been trying to conceive for a few years and had nearly completely lost hope. When I found out I was pregnant, I was floored. I'd snuck out of bed and then came back and woke Johnny up in bed. We both started crying. It was wonderful, admitted Kelly. Jane Kaczmarek, 47. There's no way you don't remember this hothead and stubborn mother from Malcolm in the Middle. Perhaps Jane was so inspired by the role of a woman with many children that she decided to follow the example of her character. Jane Kaczmarek's got three children and all of them were born during her 40s. Can you imagine that? Her first one was born when she was 43, the second one at 44, and the last one was born when she was 47, just before she turned 48. 
After giving birth to all her children, she decided it was time to take a rest from the show and dedicated her time to her kids. She justified her decision, saying, I think the great thing about being older is that you are so much more aware that your days are numbered. I am so grateful for everything in my life at this point. It doesn't get any better than this, and you realize this is all going to end one day. Kazmarek says her children help her feel young, because she finds herself hanging out with all these women in their 30s more often. The children are exceptionally grounded, despite having celebrities for parents. The family has only one TV set that's usually never on. Halle Berry, 47 When Halle Berry, at the age of 41, gave birth to her daughter and her first child, Nala, everyone was a little surprised. But when she revealed she was pregnant at 47, that came as a complete shock to everyone, including Berry herself. Halle admitted she was astonished when she, along with her husband, Olivier Martinez, found out that she was pregnant as she had been feeling premenopausal and hadn't thought she would be able to conceive. I didn't think it was possible at my age, honestly. They call it a geriatric pregnancy, said Halle on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Barry gives credit to her daughter's prayers for a sibling, feeling she's responsible for this miraculous pregnancy. Nala had been praying for more than a year for a sibling and a bunk bed, and finally received both things, she added, two things that I swore I would never ever do again in life. I mean, I didn't think it was possible to have another baby, and I thought for sure I had a need never to get married again. So I've learned never to say never, said actress of privately saying I do in July 2013. Last year, there was a rumor that the 50-year-old actress was expecting her third child. The rumor started because of the star's round tummy, as she posed for reporters with her hands on her tummy as if she was protecting her bump. Unfortunately, it all stayed as pure speculation with no basis in fact, but maybe Halle will surprise us later. Rachel Weiss, 48 On September 1st, the actress Rachel Weiss and Agent 007 Daniel Craig welcomed their first child into the world. Congrats! It's hard to believe that this British beauty is already 48. Thus, she joined the ranks of those celebs who gave birth while being almost 50. Both stars have children from their past relationships. Weiss is the proud mother of a 12-year-old son with the director of Black Swan, Darren Aronofsky. And Craig's got a 26-year-old daughter with Fiona Loudon. Rachel Weiss admitted she was pregnant in a New York Times interview in April. Daniel and I are so happy. We're going to have a little human. We can't wait to meet him or her. It's all such a mystery, she said then. It is not clear yet where their daughter is going to be raised. During her appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Rachel was asked, is the child going to be raised American or English? I suppose it will be bilingual, she replied. Beverly D'Angelo, 49. If you can't imagine that some women decide to have a child after their 40s, look at Beverly D'Angelo. At 49, she became the happy mother to twin babies Anton and Olivia, and their father, actor Al Pacino, was over 60 back then. After we'd known each other for three months, Al looked at me in the eyes and said, I want you to be the mother of my children. That's all I had to hear, the actress revealed in one of her interviews. Beverly says the next few years were crazy. I got pregnant at 48, delivered six weeks after I was 49, and by 51, I was looking at a landscape as a single parent, she explains. Beverly's breakup with Al Pacino turned into a custody battle, and although all the issues have been resolved by now, they both had quite a tough experience. Fortunately, the couple didn't go completely insane and resolved all their issues for the sake of the children. They both raise their children and cooperate in a friendly manner. When you focus on getting pregnant, you can lose the perspective that you're creating a family and a responsibility to a child's future, Beverly tells Closer. Beverly is also hoping to write a memoir and tell the world about her experiences. Janet Jackson, 50. She's been at the center of attention since rising to fame at the age of seven and has had quite a long and impressive career. Despite being surrounded by glitz and glam, Janet Jackson has admitted that she only found her true happiness after turning 50. In 2016, it was revealed that the singer was to have her first child at the age of 50. My husband and I are planning our family, so I'm going to have to delay the tour, Jackson explained then. Please, if you can try and understand that it's important that I do this now. I have to rest up, doctor's orders, but I have not forgotten about you. I will continue the tour as soon as I possibly can. This piece of news immediately made headlines. First child at 50, is that even possible? In a few months, Janet confirmed it was and introduced her baby, Asa Elmana, to the world. My son, even in his short 17 months on the planet, has showed me that love, no matter how deeply you believe you have experienced that emotion, can always go deeper. 
Love is limitless, said the 52-year-old actress in an interview this May, despite the fact that her marriage with the Qatari businessman Waisam Almana broke up only three months after the birth of the baby. Janet doesn't feel lonely, as there are two of them now. Day after day and night after night, holding my baby in my arms, I am at peace. I am blessed. I feel bliss. In those moments, all is right with the world. Bridget Nielsen, 54. This Dutch beauty, also known for being Sylvester Stallone's ex-wife, surprised the whole world. Just imagine, she gave birth to her fifth child and only daughter, Frida, a month before her 55th birthday. We should probably add that Nielsen's oldest son is 34 now. We are overjoyed to welcome our beautiful daughter into our lives. It's been a long road and so worth it. We've never been more in love, said Nielsen. Nielsen disclosed her late pregnancy in May. She posted pictures of herself touching her belly on Instagram and Twitter and wrote that her family was getting bigger. I feel as if I could give more to a child than I did when I was 20. Is that too selfish? I don't know, said Nielsen. She turned to in vitro fertilization for the conception of her youngest child and was quite forward thinking to have her eggs frozen at the age of 40. If you do IVF 80% of the time, it doesn't work. It's that phone call going, it's negative. It's the waiting. It's a lot. It's a big, big journey, she explained. My husband and I have been wanting this so much for so many years. I finally have my little princess, she says. Becoming a mother is the most beautiful thing in the world, claims Bridget Nielsen. And what do you guys think? Would you have the guts to have a child after the age of 45? Check out these other great stories from Asa and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.